If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to learn about Vegeta. Vegeta is one of the most prominent tools among performance engineers and developers, which has around 22,000 stars in GitHub. So it is an HTTP load testing tool and library. And also you can say like a, it's a benchmarking tool based on Go language. So nowadays, Go based languages is getting attraction in performance community. Now let us explore about Vegeta. So these are the features they have listed in GitHub readme page about Vegeta. So one thing is avoids coordinated omission. So this requires a dedicated video. I will post it pretty soon. So basically what it is, is you need to take all the values without missing anything. You need to consider everything to baseline your performance. So that is about coordinated omission. We will see and deep dive in the next video. And it supports a distributed load testing. So getting started with the distributed load testing in Vegeta is pretty easy using the tool called PDSH, which also I will be posting pretty soon. And it's very easy to learn and easy to get started. Unlike, you know, JMeter and there is an workaround on JMeter, but unlike other tools, this distributed load testing uh, design pattern is pretty much interesting and unique. And it's very easy to install. As you see here, it's just, you know, brew or package installation and you can easily manage the, uh, you know, dependencies, everything. So it's pretty neat tool to get started and there is no need to write any kind of scripting. So basically no scripting means you cannot do a lot of advanced operations, for example, correlation or uh, data. So there are some limitations on the other side. It has a lot of pros as well. Okay, now let me just quickly go to my uh, terminal and let us install Vegeta. So again, using brew, you can just uh, use the typical brew install on the tool name which will install you the Vegeta in your local. So as you see, the version 12.11.1 here is ready and already installed and up to date. So to get to the, you know, help, just type Vegeta hyphen H, you will get all the help arguments. To know the, again, the version, just to type Vegeta hyphen version, as you see, the version is 12.11.1. Okay, now let us go to the hyphen H command and if you scroll up, you can see a lot of arguments. So one is the global flags. So by default, it uses the number of CPUs. So basically how many cores your system has, it will use everything, not just one core. So in my system, I have eight cores. So it will use eight cores to inject the load. And also you can profile CPU and memory. So that also we will see in the upcoming videos. And the next set of command, which is attack. So this is where you were the CPU of this tool. So attacking means here injecting load to the target. So it has so many parameters starting with, you know, body certificates, HTTP two flags. And if you just scroll down, you can see a lot of things. So in my recent article, I already listed out what properties, the what parameters and arguments you have to focus. So as I mentioned here, one of the thing is CPU by default will take everything and number of connections, which, which will take around uh, 10,000 by default and the rate. So this is where your uh, throughput and DNS TTL, duration of the test, it keeps running unless you say, stop it here, you know, and HTTP2. And again, there are a lot of uh, things you need to uh, focus. So once you get to know about these, you know, tag and values, then it is pretty easy to work with Vegeta. Otherwise, you have to go through the documentation, understand the syntax, and you have to execute properly. Okay, now let us go to the terminal and let us, uh, you know, use the examples here. So down the line, as you see here, there are four examples. So one example is, you know, typical uh, hitting the local host. And there are examples with respect to, you know, plotting here plotting the report and another example is to uh, display the report in the CLI for the histogram. So pretty much neat tool. Just copy the first one 
and let me clear my screen so right now in my current folder i don't have anything and let us uh, paste this command and hit run so basically what it will do it will first echo the particular uh, statement which is a get http localhost and then it will pass it to this particular command which is vegeta attack hyphen duration equals five seconds so five seconds it will execute the test and then it will pass the results to the results dot bin and here we have the uh, t command so t command what it will do is it will display the output in the cli as well as write it to some file and once the results dot bin is ready then it will create the report using the vegeta report command so now our test is done so basically it will fail because i don't have anything in my local host colon 80 and here let us pay some attention so one is the uh, request total rate throughput so this is the total requests rate which is 50 per second by default and the throughput so throughput is zero basically nothing and similar duration total attack wait so five seconds this is our duration of the test and latencies minimum mean 50 90 95 99 max so you get starting from minimum to maximum just like any other tool and also by default you will have 50 90 95 99 percentiles and bytes in you know the throughput in terms of uh, data bytes out success ratio which is zero and status code is uh, zero and the count is 250 basically nothing so basically there are errors as you see here right so this is how you start with you know hello world in vegeta so very pretty simple and uh, very easy to get started so now let us uh, just uh, use a ls command to see what's there in the results.bin so results.bin basically it's a binary file i mean really you don't see anything here so now if you type uh, ls a or ll so here you can see uh, 34k so accidentally i executed this command so basically what this command will do is it will uh, cat out the results.bin and then it will plot the report so plot it will just create a graph and then it will store everything in the plot.html so now let us open the plot.html using open command so now if you see here you get the graph in a html format so this particular graph it is you know you can just uh, you know pan out pan in and you can filter out and you can see at the top so basically this is not a valid test so let us uh, close this we don't need now i already have something running in my local so if you just type hyphen uh, i curl and localhost 8080 i think uh, i need to port forward this let me go to my kubernetes and let me make sure something is running or not now let us uh, test the thing again so now as you see our local host is up and running so http uh, 200 okay so now what we can do let us uh, run the test using the actual localhost 8080 so i'm going to copy this command and paste it here so get http localhost 8080 so this will run for 10 seconds it will create a results.bin then in the cli it will display the statistics so as you see here we got everything 200 status code 200 and the count is 500 so now we can just uh, plot the graph cat results.bin and vegeta plot.html and open plot.html you will see your actual results so in the y-axis as you see here uh, latency and the x-axis uh, second elapsed so basically the duration of the test and you can also download the image as png what if if you want to test with multiple http requests so how do you do that in vegeta there are a couple of ways you can use you know the echo command or you can put everything in one file so that is where you know i call it as a script so to do that just create you know vim and give some name and here you can just keep entering your uh, get http localhost 8080 and if you want to pass header you know you can just use this header and now new line then another enter 
now enter your another http request so in this case let us go with localhost 8080 slash leader board hit enter and just save this so now you can just uh, cat this and pass this to vegeta and generate the report so this will run for 10 seconds so basically it will hit two http requests and generate the report for you so now as you see it is together basically uh, there are total number of requests which is 500 and 50 per second and for 10 seconds and here as you see 100 percentage success rate and 200 http status code and 500 the count okay now if you open uh, let us create the report you know so just cat the results.bin vegeta plot.html then now open the plot.html now as you see here there are results available for your http requests so within a short period of time you can run your performance testing and you can benchmark your http endpoints okay now what if you want to send some data so let me create some uh, data file so data.json so here i'm going to use uh, say just you know test colon test so this is your data now if you want to send some post with this data you can simply use this command so echo post and at data.json so here is the corrected command so basically there should not be any space between at and data so now this will send the post payload to the local host with the data.json so as you see here you can see the status code 200 and the code is the count is 500 so this is how you send your post request with the data so here you cannot do you know much of correlation but this is what you can do if you want to quickly benchmark with your some data you can definitely use this pattern so thank you guys in next video we will deep dive further into vegeta and let us see about a coordinated omission as well and stay tuned and thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel